Hello, Twitch. Welcome in, everyone. How is everyone doing this evening? Hopefully everyone's having a lovely day. Everything's going great for them. Halfway through the week here, hopefully your work week has been treating you well. Not what I wanted. There we go. Okay. Welcome in, Hazel. Welcome in, Bun Buns. Hazel Tari. Gonna go ahead and get started by wetting down my filter here, my coffee. Pouring some burning water or uh, boiling water in my hand. Well, just under boiling. 205 degree Fahrenheit water. It's all right. Oh, hey, that would have been handy. Wow, that was a big grind there. I don't know what that is, Bun Buns. So what else can you do with it with the with the extensions? Yeah, I figured that one. You can make larger ones. I I, I don't know. I I I have, I have no clue what you're talking about other than. Loom, I, I know Loom is for knitting, <laughs> and extensions make things larger. So you can make bigger pieces to your... You can make bigger patches to your patch will work. I, I say that only because I know patchwork. <laughs> Always fun when you get an upgrade to your craft or fun pr profession. No, I don't want you to repeat. Quiet down. You're still heating. You're supposed to stop.
So now are they gonna be five bigger blankies or five blankies the same size done quicker? Welcome Raiders, welcome in. Thank you for that, Raid. How are we all doing tonight? What were we doing in our stream? Hopefully we're not getting caught by an ad and not hearing what I'm saying. And I think I have to redo that because my bot is not shouting out correctly for some reason. Another food and drink streamer, another Team Bone In member. Thank you so much for that raid. I appreciate ya. Uh, I'm doing lovely. We've got some coffee here to get me started off. Wake myself up a little bit here, beginning of stream. We've got pizza rolls as my ingredient challenge tonight. Welcome back in, George. Happy to see you again. So, we've, we've got all sorts of frozen pizza rolls for tonight's dinner. I got another one that I already took half out of. This is the pepperoni ones, I think. Yeah, pepperoni, got triple meat, we got cheese, and I am going to do a full dinner based off of them tonight. This is my weekly stream here. And so last night I actually started a bit early and I turned half a bag of pizza rolls into a batch of no need pizza dip or no need uh, bread. And so uh, let's leave these out. And so we're gonna get to that a little bit later. It has been a very long time since I have had them, Darth. I doubt they are the same as when I had them. <laughs> Ooh. So actually, I need to get started with cooking all these. So start our oven up here to 400. Thank you for that gift sub. Appreciate that, Bun Buns. It's my new sub alert, although it's just the beginning. The other parts are going to take a couple of weeks here. Um, ch -ch -ch. Pans and parchment. half sheet pans line them with parchment here and we'll do up essentially the rest of these I'm gonna bake all of them off yeah it's been a while since I did schnitzel and I thought it was time. Actually, it was a little bit more uh, been time that I need to do some uh, spetzel with our schnitzel. So we got our two meat ones here on this pan. We got our 
three meats over here and pepperonis over here. It's not really crucial that we keep them separate for my plans. What you planning to do in Germany? Germany sounds fun. And I don't know if I caught what you were doing here. <laughs> I am doing quite, I'm catching up with you, Kanara. If that is how you pronounce it, I apologize. I do not know how to pronounce your name properly. But thank you once again for that raid. Uh, I didn't catch what you said you were uh, doing on your stream tonight. What were, what were we all coming from doing tonight? I apologize if you already said that and I missed it. So anything makes them sort of different from your typical cinnamon roll, or? Cinnamon rolls are pretty awesome just by themselves. <laughs> That's awesome. So I'll set these back there onto the oven and get warm. I got my cast iron out there for our bread. I'm gonna actually do the next step of the bread here now. Yeah, and now the kitchen cleanup and the breakdown and uh, please, uh, I, I completely understand if you if you step away. Uh, is. I'm normally wanting to chow down. I'm normally one. I got to shut down a couple cameras. I got to do all that lovely stuff. Thank you. Bun Buns 122 gifted a tier one sub to Kinara. They have given two gift subs in the channel. Awesome, Bun Buns. Thank you so much. So we're gonna continue folding this over a little bit. Or if you wanna do the whole pick it up and stretch and try and fold it over four corners way. I've just been using my spatula lately to essentially just fold the bread since it's got so much moisture in it. And keep doing this until we start getting a sort of smooth outside. It shouldn't take much since it's been proofing for so long. I started this last night about 9, so this has seen, what, 18 so hours? And I am going to roll that over onto this, oops, again, need a little bottom here for this too. So I put down a little light layer of cornmeal. It's probably a little, there will darken it up, you can see a little bit of cornmeal on the parchment there. It'll just be a base for our bread. We're hopefully going to roll it flat. Try and do a little shape. And Go. 
we'll let that sit and do a second quicker per blob. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know, I made mead for years. Does that count? I've made mead, a couple batches of mead on stream, too. In fact, you know, I didn't have plans for that, but why don't we crack one of those open tonight? I've been meaning to, and I didn't really make plans for it. Just getting a little light dusting of flour over the top of that. If you got like, one of those cutesy little shaky spreader things for your flour, that's, this is an awesome one for that. I don't have one of those. Awesome. Let's see. What's easy to get to? <laughs> hey, close up time. That answers that one. In other words, that's, that's my way of saying open this one first. Let's see which one we have here. Backyard apple, wildflower honey, sizer, DV10 yeast. And that was 2020. So I'll open that up after I work my way through this horrible coffee. And we got Stream Raiders going on here if anyone's familiar or plays or along that line. The other bottle of mead that I have kicking around here that I've done on stream was a uh, late year strawberry. getting those rewards and doing all the killing. Killer bunny. Let's start that next map here first. Mm, let's go with warrior. Rogues will go after the presence if you want to get the kills. Uh, otherwise we'll need a couple of support. Eh, seems like Unless we get some more stuff popping up, this is probably pretty doable. And I am also going to check the quests here, because it looked like I have a couple ready. I got 50 snowflakes. I still don't know what snowflakes are for in this game.
Okay, let's get those pizza rolls in the oven. Got our cheesy ones. Gonna go in the top. Meat one's gonna go down on the lower rack. Set ourselves a 15 minute timer and we'll see what they're looking like then. coated the top of this container that I had the bread in with the oil so that it uh, didn't stick to the dough at all. It does mean I have to hit it with some soap to make sure and get it clean. Trying to get this done quick, folks. Alright, so we gotta wait for those to cook through. What else can we do while we're waiting on that for prep wise? Uh, we gotta grate some cheese. Gonna be making lasagna tonight out of pizza rolls. So we're gonna need a little bit of mozzarella. Yeah, we can get rid of the stove for now. We'll just give this a quick grate. on the edge of being too soft which the better mozzarella would be too small too soft oh is it scarred you for life bun buns are you afraid of this Well, the thing you got to think about this is, yeah, you can get a pretty good cut with it, but the worst this thing is going to do to you is give you some character. Yeah, that's my new emote. Still gotta figure out to use a couple more. I still got a couple more spaces to fill. And I've seen pictures on how to create the animated ones. Like I've seen how it's set up. I can't find 
how to get it to it in the menu for Twitch or something. Maybe it's not enabled. I don't know. I am going to cheat a little bit tonight and use a pre-made tomato sauce. I mean, it is December anyways. It's not like I'm going to be getting primo tomatoes anyways. So I'd probably be primarily relying on canned tomatoes anyways. So you got some sauce, we got some cheese, we've got some ricotta. Maybe we should get that up too. Got cream cheese for tonight's dessert. So let that get out and start room, warming up to room temp so it'll be easier to mix later on. Still not 100% sold on how I'm gonna do this dessert. I've, I've come up with the idea and the plan, but yeah, I don't know if it's <laughs> execution. <laughs> Another eight minutes on those rolls. So I got that all prepped for doing that. Um. Got that going for that. Just really waiting on those rolls to get out of the oven. So how is everyone's evening going tonight? Hopefully everyone's had a great Wednesday so far. I need to come up. <laughs> well, thank you, HUD. <coughs> Appreciate that. We're working on quite a bit tonight. We got a pretty good dinner tonight. It's just a matter of I gotta wait on those rolls to be baked, which we got another 10 minutes or so. We got bread sitting here doing its second proof. And I'm gonna drink a little uh, homemade mead that I made on stream back in 2020. See what that's like doing, how that's doing uh, Almost two years later. that I can chop up a little garlic here while we're waiting on that. 
we need some garlic because I'm going to be doing it's a rather simple dish but Totino's themselves actually put this out on TikTok and they're suggesting that you take their pizza rolls and once they're done in the oven tossing them with garlic butter and parmesan so we'll do some of them like that in fact maybe we'll do a mix of all three of them see what they're they're all individually like if it works for all of them or if it's just one of them I have no idea if 3K is a lot of channel points or not. Welcome Raiders. Thank you for that raid, Waybread. What were we up to tonight? Thank you for that sub. Appreciate that. Welcome into the Cast Iron Cult. Welcome in, everyone. What were we doing tonight, Waybread? What, what was uh, the meal earlier? Working with pizza rolls here tonight. Got all sorts of them in the oven right now. We got cheese, we got three meat. We got pepperoni. 
and doing a wide variety of things with them. Gonna be making some dessert a bit later, but we've got bread. I made a no need bread recipe from half a bag or almost half a pound of pizza rolls. Um, it was about 300 grams of flour on top of that half pound of pizza rolls. And that's our timer for our pizza rolls in the oven. I think those can use another couple minutes. What do I have the oven set to? Should be good. And so I'm making up a little garlic. I'm going to do a little garlic uh, oil for with the, some of them. That's going to be sort of like my side dish to dinner tonight. Uh, which is a TikTok thing that even Totino's put out. So they're suggesting you actually take their pizza rolls and toss them in garlic butter and Parmesan. So we're going to try that out and I'm going to try a little bit with each all three of them. We get the bread and I'm going to be doing a lasagna. Uh, basically just layering the tortinos with uh, tomato sauce, mozzarella, uh, ricotta, all that good stuff. Uh, and then I'm actually going to well, we'll reveal this secret a little early. But we're going to do a crust with some of these. Uh, and then dessert. Since the challenge is I hold a weekly vote in Discord. We'll start the vote a little bit later on in the stream. And this week's was pizza rolls. We'll find out well, what the challenges are, who's going to be possible for next week. But each week I take a challenge ingredient and I have to turn it into dinner, dinner and dessert. Usually do three, four different recipes. Um, you can check it out by joining into the Discord or I'll show on stream a little bit later when I set that up. Okay, what else do we got going on here? <laughs> That's awesome, we Brett. I when it comes to Oh, no worries. Um I I expect when it comes to cooking and streamers, you're either quickly feeding your face or you have to break things down because your house can't be that way all the time or you got cameras that you got at least shut down and so yeah thank you so much for that raid but don't feel the need to contribute I, I, I love lurkers I love people just hanging out um, although I, I love chatting too oh thank you for the 10 gifties I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. So we'll go over here to the stove where I've got my smaller sauce pot. And let's do a little olive and canola. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wowzers. Thank ya. Turn the heat on that. warm enough to essentially infuse the oil with the garlic flavor. Start to break it down just a little bit. Thank you for those gift subs yet again. Um, if, if you're not noticing that little number down there, you, you've, you've just about tripled it now. Take 
plants in the oven here. Yeah, I think we can pull these out now. And we're going to actually turn the oven up to 450. Thank you. Thank you for that sub-fabulous J Fox. HUD gifting that sub to fabulous J Fox. Awesome, awesome. You guys are great. Whoa, wait. We got a hype train going too? What? are animals. This is amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Not just level 5, 190 at level 5. Wow, is this? You now quadrupled it. <laughs> All right, so now that's up to a boil. That's probably good enough for that. Turn the heat off of that and just let that cook with residual cook, residual heat. Thank you, thank you everyone. So let's get those pizza rolls out of the oven that I keep getting distracted from grabbing. <laughs> These are our cheese tortilla. Oh, yeah, cheese. And these are the meat ones on the stove back here. Pepperoni one's all split open on me. About a third of these did too. And since we got those out, we need to put our pan in the oven for our bread. You guys got me all kerfuffled. Thank you so much. I was not expecting this tonight. And it is greatly appreciated. It has been quite a while since I have had one myself there, Lara. Um, yeah, I know they're... A... <laughs> Let's give one a, well, let's see if they're still too hot or. Wow, that's hot. But I think I need to open that, that bead now. SHB, you animal! SHB 1913 gifted a tier 2 sub to Waybread. They have given 16 gift subs in the channel. <laughs> um, pretty much, Lara. Pretty much. <laughs> Yes, this is rather amazing tonight. So let's, uh, this needs a little bit of a polish.
SHB 1913 gifted a tier 2 sub to Laris Sultan. They have given 17 gift subs in the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> it gave me a gift chain uh, so, uh, emote too. So let's see what our backyard apple, that's meaning there, there's five trees back behind this house. So these are apples that are from the yard with wildflower honey. Very obviously still, I put first on this bottle because I was worried about it being too bubbly in building pressure in the bottle, which it doesn't seem to have. It's got a little effervescence to it, but wow, those are tiny bubbles too. There's a little effervescence there. You can see a few bubbles on the glass there. Nice light golden color. Wow. There's an apple there, but there's almost like a licorice note to it. Very clean, very crisp. Not getting much if any bite from the alcohol there. Uh, and definitely has outlived the uh, gasoline note that meads are known for. Yeah, happy with that. Very clean. That's very um, apple cider like. It's it's very. It's got that refreshing like crispness to it. Let's do our battle. Let's go to battle. Uh, are we gonna do kill and field or are we gonna do haste? I think I'm gonna do haste. Nice, Hazel. For anyone new into the stream, the, the scramble is all, it's a custom dictionary that I put together. They're all food related words. They are not necessarily English. In fact, there's many that are not English. Nice dumpling emote. Okay, our oil is heated up back here. Mm. 
<laughs> nice hood. Victory. I won. Ruby Row. And a lot. A lot. Getting those kills and assists for us. Bun Bun's rocking away with the scrolls, though. Uh oh. We, we still here, folks? Hopefully, you don't have to refresh. But that was very obviously a power fluctuation. We had a little bit of a like a brownout action there. Lights all turned down low. Not good for computers. There's two more. Not quite sure what's that doing that, so I apologize if things drop out. That is my power fluctuating. Fluctuating words. That it does hazel tap. Tari. Uh, but the the other one there, huh, that that piqued my interest. That's uh Deep Earth sort of stuff. So we're going to take a little bit of each of these and do our first side dish and see what that looks like here. garlic oil over the top of these. It's probably enough for this project. Fresh, real Parmesan. Parmigiano Reggiano. And we'll give these a little bit of a toss. I'm trying to be somewhat careful with them because they're they're sort of soft. I'm a little worried. Get tomato sauce all over the place. So our simplest and first dish of the dinner tonight. They did a little Italian seasoning on that. I thought that was maybe a bit excessive. Definitely gives them a different flavor, but 
mean, the garlic oil makes a lot of things better. Aubrey, Lapido, Angel Four, Werpy, Pop Error, SHB, Cereal Box, and Death Star. Thank you all for the follows. Shayna as well. BG Zaro. Wow, all these followers. Thank you so much. Even, yeah. Thank you, folks. An amazing night. So we're good with this. Well, I'm going to put this in the back burner for now. And how am I going to do my dinner tonight for the lasagna? I think I'm going to use one of these bad boys. There you go. Hazel just killing the scrambles tonight. For anyone joining in also, if you want to join into the scramble, you do have to type exclamation mark scramble at the beginning of each round. Uh, I've sort of hacked the, the bot code to make it a free game for everyone. And so we'll start by layering this with a layer of the sausage or the three meat. That might actually be enough. Wow, I nailed that. We got our purchased tomato sauce. Tomato is not great on this pan, but I thought the last two races were rather a debacle. I thought they were poorly managed on both of them. And I think Max is a great driver, but I think that race was handed to him at the same time. I don't think that was a fair race whatsoever. So do a little mozzarella, sort of light layer of mozzarella. I can probably do more sauce than this. We want it saucy, don't we? Got some nice chunks of, it's the first time I've used this brand of sauce. Got some nice tomato chunk, or uh, Olive chunks in there, both green and black. Oh, that would be a good plan, wouldn't it? How did I get... 
<laughs> so distracted tonight. Alright, now we got a Stream Raiders battle set up. Do another layer. They might. Right now, I mean, I, I need a three-month break from Formula One right now. After those last two races. Both of the last two races. They they completely messed up the refing on both, in my opinion. The, not the, the final one was actually not as bad as the one before. That they will. I'm excited about a lot of things. I mean, it's going to be a completely... What I hope is going to be a completely new grounds for a lot of teams. But if it's going to still be managed the way those last two races were, I, I don't know if I'm going to watch. Yeah, the entire lineup is announced. Sort of trying to line the ricotta up in the places where things, where the pizza rolls weren't. and then gluing the next layer to it, sort of. I don't know about that one. They're certainly not joining this year. I mean, they, they got the, they got the name, but Do a little parmesan. Do a little freeze dried basil. If I can find my container of it. And Bun Buns is always here to compliment me. Uh, rumor is, is they're going back to silver. I mean, that is the classic Mercedes color.
Kimmy was amazing. Mostly for his... <laughs> his uninterest with the media. He was hilarious in some of his media stuff because... He'd do whatever he could to get out of it. There's that one scene, you can find it on YouTube, where in the press conference, Lewis is act. I, I forget what the question was, but there's a question of whether Lewis was bringing up whether Kimmy maybe parties a little too much or along that line. He was just poking fun. He wasn't, like, being accusing. And Kimmy wasn't even listening, so he doesn't even react. It's on most of the funny reels and skits if you find any of those on YouTube. So we got all the ricotta in there. We got most of our pizza rolls in there. One more layer of pizza rolls. Oh, let's do some mozzarella before our last roll set of rolls. You do love your indie car, don't you, car guy? Absolutely less of the sauce here. It's worth maybe mentioning that this is not a this is more like a pizza sauce size thing of sauce. Normally they're doing what is it, 32 ounce jars for pasta sauce often? This one's uh, a little over 16 ounces, so a little over a pound. So maybe almost half the size of your typical pasta sauce jar. And I'm debating whether I still want to do the Dorito top. Because I think we're pretty good here. I was worried that we are going to be lower in the pan. I think I'm going to just coat it with some cheese here and call it a night. Eat the Doritos some other time. All right, let's get that bread in the oven. We need that bread in the oven. cast iron pan that I've had heating up in that oven and we got our big blob of bread our pepperoni pizza roll bread pinch the four corners Just drop it down in there ooh that's gonna be a big boy
Now I'm gonna throw that in the preheated oven. And this pan has a lid to it. So I'm putting the lid on. It's gonna trap all the steam and allow that bread to poof up a lot more in the oven. We'll let that cook for 20 minutes, sort of semi-steaming. Then we'll take the top off and then let it brown up a bit, come nice and golden delicious. Ah, who is that car guy? Next project can get a little bit messy here. So we're going to make a crust out of pizza rolls. So much like I did for the bread, although I didn't cook them for the bread, I kept them uh, raw for the bread so that the yeast could munch on them. Sorry to hear that, car guy. So we're gonna mince these up. Try and keep them somewhat on the same direction. Never would have guessed. crispy rolls. Though I'm convinced after doing these and working with these that these are more pizza egg rolls than they are like some sort of rolled pizza. You know? 
uh, whatever, uh, this is straight up like egg roll wrapper. And I don't remember if that's the original premise for these or... It's also obviously fried. It's, prob it's probably very similar to instant ramen. Just with pizza flavor. Wow, I got this all over me. Get my hands a proper clean up here. Of course, I say egg roll, and you're probably thinking the traditional way that they make egg rolls in China, which is more like ultra-thin omelets versus what it is here in the States, which is more of a <coughs> almost an egg and starch pasta with, uh, yeah, it's more of a egg pasta than it is a but if you see the way that they do uh, egg rolls in China they're they're fascinating I mean, it's it's they use their walks for everything so I mean it's essentially just a very thin layer egg pancake cooked in, like, paper thin. Should do that some, give that a shot here sometime. Of course, my wok is not, not nearly as, uh, not on stick as one properly, regularly used. So we're gonna add a little bit of, I think I'm gonna add a little bit of flour to that. See what we got there as far as, as far as moisture.
And I'm not trying to knead this too much, but I'm trying to make sure it comes together somewhat. got that we'll give this a little bit of a rollout Another seven and a half minutes until we take the lid off of our bread. Continuing to roll out our cheesecake crust. Ice machine making too much noise. Only five minutes. How long is it for you to go from work to home? How long is your commute? Take one of my small spring form pans. And carefully fit our dough down in there. push it against the sides. I'm not gonna worry about cutting any of it out. I'm not worried about that little hole I just created at the bottom because we can patch that in.
and then for the couple holes I created there, we'll just put a little patch in there. There we have our cheesecake crust. Made from pizza rolls. We'll take a piece of parchment here. We're gonna, sorry for the crinkling, but I'm going to fill this with rice so that I can blind bake it. We have rice that I use for a pie weight regularly, so it's already got some oil coloration and good stuff like that. I appreciate your confidence, Bun Buns. The idea is the rice here is going to keep that crust from puffing up and expanding out. I didn't add any real stuff that would cause it to expand, but we, at the same time, we don't want any bubbles, which any moisture can create a bubble when it comes to the oven. And this is gonna go in, do I wanna throw it in there with this? I think I'm gonna hold off on throwing this in the oven until we put our lasagna in there. I'm gonna have a couple pizza rolls Oh I wait. I'm not sure that the... I can't say that the garlic oil and parmesan there is doing much to improve things. It's not changing things a whole lot, to be honest. Do I have a pizza roll? Do calzones count? What's everyone else's favorite pizza roll? Are, are you all fans of Tostitos? Totinos? Is, is Totino's everyone else's pizza roll of choice? Or am I missing out on something that's amazing out in this world? Cheers, folks. Let's see what we got here. Hmm. Delicately X 
getting the kills. Since sort of, it's sort of like Bun Bun's being murderous, delicately getting the kills. Uh, Hot has helping it out with the sis and getting the scrolls. Ooh, some goodies for me too. over here. Sorry about lag. Moved it on ya. Consolidate the last of our pizza rolls here. We got some of our pepperoni and cheese left there. No problem. We'll put our lasagna over here in the pan, ready to go. What does everyone else love on their pizza? What, what's your top pizza choices of, of toppings? Pineapple and ham. Now is that actually your favorite? Or is that the reaction question answer? You know, to get Pineapple is always the controversial one. I don't mind pineapple, but it's also not my favorite. Shocker. Mr. Uh, MSG and umami and everything is not that big a fan of the sweet and salty ham. I want me some sausage and black olive and maybe some pepperoni if it's spicy and cup style. Reminding me the garlic oil. I am going to refrigerate this, and I am not going to keep this for a long time because this is how you get botulism in God kitchens uh, putting things in oil. Especially things that were grown in the ground, like garlic in oil, is not a good way to go. What is botulism? Botulism is the reason we have all those reasons that you got to do this, that, and the other thing when it comes to canning or jarring things. It is a uh, 
bacteria that is extremely hard to kill. Uh, it will handle its spore form, will handle uh, heats well above anything is normally cooked. And so it's more of a matter of it's in just about everything. It's a matter of making sure you're living in situations where it's not enjoying itself. It enjoys anaerobic environments. So places devoid of air in oil. Um, and yeah, that's it, it, it. Other than acidity, it those are your two things you got to really. You got to have either a very acidic environment, or you got to have uh, air available to it. Make it unhappy. But I'm remembering some things that I was going to throw on the top of this that I, I forgot. Namely. First off, we were going to do some Parmesan. But I mentioned it and it reminded me that I actually have some in the house right now. And I think it's just sort of fitting for topping a pizza lasagna. With some cup and char pepperoni. Cup and char pepperoni. That's the that's the good stuff in my mind. Oh come on! I pulled off the opening tab, and this thing still doesn't want to separate. There we go. There we go. Take a look at our bread here. Oh, I forgot to take the lid off of that. nice and brown up a little bit on all it's on. Have I ever had a pickle and peanut butter sandwich? I can't say that I have. I have had pickled pizza. I made pizza with pickles on it. Uh, I also made uh, pickles, deep fried pickles stuffed with nacho cheese in the past. Both of those were real winter dish dinners. Those were both awesome. Highly recommend. They take some work, but I highly recommend the cheese stuffed pickles. Uh, and what I did for those was I took whole dill pickles. I took an apple core, put a hole down the center of them. I took nacho cheese, I made my own nacho cheese. I made a little bit thicker than usual, just slightly thicker. And then piped with a piping bag into rings. I, I hollowed out the pickles and then sliced them into thick rings. Piped them full of nacho cheese, threw them in the freezer so that they sort of locked up 
and then breaded them very carefully, threw them back in the freezer, and then fried them. They turned out great. And if you're hearing the pops and cracks, all along with the power flashing and that, we've been raining pretty hard today. It was coming down pretty good as the stream started. It's dark out there now, so I can't tell what's going on other than hearing things hit my roof right now. Craig, if you're still hanging out, thank you for that follow. Fried pickles are amazing, uh, but they're already a, a staple in bars and all that jazz. Um, they're a big thing for Hooters, one of their big dishes. And I felt I just had to take it and just take it to another, and just up it that much more. I'm not Emerald, but it's sort of sounding like I'm trying to talk like him right now. <laughs> Fried okra. I've had okra several ways. I've enjoyed it one or two ways, but vast majority of ways. <laughs> no, thank you. I'm, I'm not a fan of the slime. I'm, I... If you can cook it without the slime, which there are ways you can do it, you can you can get it pretty well. Then I'm cool with it. But but if you're you're handing me a bowl of slime, sorry, thank you. I'll probably at least give it a shot to be, you know, courteous and to fulfill curiosity. But I won't like it. I've had it, I've had it boiled in soups, I've had it as like a, a wet mass of a salad, it was one of the less attractive ones in my memory. I've had it fried, and I've had it fried badly, and I've had it fried good, so... <laughs> and there are some things that are like, like... That's kept me away from Monado too. Um, yeah, I'm not a fan of slime. I'm expecting someone to put that in the ingredient challenge list now. But now is a great time that we're sitting here. We can set up the vote for next week. <laughs> Fun buttons. Uh, so the 22nd. And what do we have for competitors this week? Who's leading the, the vote here? Last it was no, no, uh, no spice and sushi. That is looking like that's going to be it. So.
Yeah, we'll just leave it as no spices. First, sushi. I can guess which one's gonna win this one. As usual, you can vote for your preference by reacting with the chef logo, whichever has the most. On Monday, or on Sunday, we'll close up the vote. Already got a vote for sushi going there. We'll see how we do. Get a wire rack here for our bread when it comes out of the oven here in a minute or two. Or three and a half minutes. Yeah, speaking of that, we can mix up our cheesecake, too. We can make our new big cheesecake mix. Which is really just sort of simple. We're just going to take half of this thing of cream cheese, mix it with some sour cream. Sharp knife cuts through metal. We'll start with the fork action here. Well, I want to make another Basque cheesecake. I've done two of those now on stream. The only two that I've ever made. I loved, loved both of them. So that is definitely on my redo list for sometime here in the future. If you didn't notice, that was a little honey. Also going to add a little powdered sugar. That's our bread.
That is looking lovely. Wowza. Look at that gorgeousness. Got some bread. Thank you, Bon Bon. So I think it turned out pretty well myself. We'll, we'll see how it really is once we break into it, though. Yeah, you've been falling a minute. You're, uh... I think you're our number one viewer actually for this past year. I mean, other people have you beat as far as. Long time viewing. But as far as uh, the Twitch metrics email that just went out, I didn't share it, but actually it wasn't sharing properly for me if I wanted to share it, but. It's just Twitch. Uh, I'm pretty sure that that said that Bun Buns was my top viewer this past year. As far as time. So we got cheesecake. It's sort of soft, but it's a no bake cheesecake. Oh. We're gonna wanna let that sit for a little while. But now we can throw in the other two items that we're going to go in the oven. So we're not here all night. Let's get our lasagna cooking. down to 350 from 450. And we'll throw this on with our lasagna as well. See how those are looking in 20 minutes.
This song every time reminds me of the color of money. Not the actual color of money, but for those old enough to remember the Tom Cruise movie. Tom Cruise slash, uh, oh, who else is in that? Paul Newman. Up there on my list of movies. Very much up there on my list of movies. You know, actually, as he's cooling down, the garlic is becoming more prominent. And so it's like, the effect of doing that is getting better the cooler they get. I'm, I'm sort of wondering at what temperature the average person breaks into their pizza rolls. I mean, do they, the, does everyone just straight burn their mouth like I did earlier tonight? Or... Like, it didn't completely napalm my mouth, but there's a couple of points on my roof of my mouth now that are, are a little rough. <laughs> you like rabbit food. Every time I pull out a carrot or a cucumber or celery or you're like, ooh, veggies. <laughs> yep, that's right. That's. You have a very you have a very appropriate name. I actually when I opened the, kit, the refrigerator door, I remembered that I actually bought parsley to toss these with, too. That would have given me a little green color in there, but. Let's see why Meta's trying to bother me. Meta is bad. Anyone who's watched role play knows Meta is bad. <laughs> it is such a catch word right now though too. Like everything is the metaverse. Read a news article about a lady who got her name wrote uh, used to work, I don't know if it was on Instagram or one of them had their handle as the Metaverse or, or Metaverse and got banned like a couple of days after Facebook announced their name change. Had been using the account for 10 years. Let's do battle. Let us go to battle.
victory. A lot doing the kills and the assistant. Hazel Tari walking away with the gold, though. Are we doing one more? Let's do one more. Let's do one last one tonight. It's a hard one, though. We're going to need everyone. Going to need everyone to help out with this one. Actually, let's start over here. Uh, we're going to get pinched on either side as we go in towards this, so... Keep in mind that maybe a two-sided on the top here, or two-sided that way too. <laughs> all these people joining in tonight welcome in everyone thank you all for joining in tonight really appreciated the raids and all the that one heck of a hype train That made my whole month. I mean, literally. Uh, the... What's the consensus? Do people like my Chef JT banner up there? Or is that maybe something that I should ditch and just go with? I, the, the video is not going to get that much bigger. Most of it's already maxed out. Because I'm sort of debating with the next thing that I'm thinking of adding here might change things up a little bit and so it's sort of one of those points where you know if I'm gonna do this we can do that and the other thing do not try and catch knives that wasn't a knife but it had a handle close enough to one for me So anyone else got anything new to report today? What's new and exciting today in everyone's world? What else did I do today? Today was one of those days that just went by so quick for me. Like, you know, I got done with a couple of things with Twitter. I look at my watch and, you know, it's one o'clock already. Which is good if you're working, but I was just doing stuff around home. And I sort of like if I have time around home to putz around, it lasts longer. <laughs> We got our no bake cheesecake here waiting for our crust to fill. 
We've got a pretty nice looking loaf here of no need bread. And this is with a half pound of pizza rolls minced into it. So a lot of that red color or orangey color is actually the tomato. We got little bumps of what I assume are pepperoni in there too. I also snuck a little garlic powder in there and a little bit of uh, savory flavorings. So hopefully that turns out right. It's still a little warm for me to want to break into it. And since it's a larger loaf, since I almost did my normal loaf when it comes to no, uh, no need, which is about 400 grams of flour. I did 300 grams of flour with this with a half pound, well, no, it was more than, it was a half bag. So it was 0.9 of a pound of minced, uncooked pizza rolls. And 400 grams of water. So more water than we have flour here. I needed more to hydrate all of them. And then I added some spices in there along with a pinch of sugar for the yeast and a pinch of salt for flavor. But there was some garlic. I forget what, if I put anything else in there with that. But I wasn't going to change it too majorly to affect the pizza roll effect. We also got our pizza roll crust for our no-bake cheesecake in the oven. That's got another six minutes until I'm going to pull that out. That's blind baking with some rice in there. And then I also got my... Uh, pizza roll lasagna in there with the cup and char pepperoni on top and lots of goodness that's just gonna be a deliciousness once I pull that out of the oven and I'm still sipping on my my mead very is it's just so uh, that's a great palate cleanser right there that just, the acidity, the crispness, the cleanness of it. I mean, there's not a ton, and on the other hand, there's not a ton of flavor there. It, it's just a simple apple, but. And I'm not getting a ton of wildflower, like a whole bunch of herbiness or different flavors out of the wildflower from the honey either. It's been a while since I've had a mead that that way though. Like I'm so used to meads having even just that slight hint. Meads, especially when they're young, especially when they're young, have this like gasoline note to their alcohol. Like it, it's it's a really harsh note that you get when a mead is first fermented. Uh, unlike beers or other things, you really gotta let them wait. Uh, I would say at a minimum six months. Usually, I would I wouldn't touch them unless they're a year old. <laughs> I actually um, brewed five gallons in my dorm room um, and walked around with a gallon of it on graduate AOS night graduation night. I don't know if the trailers were around. Uh, they were supposed to be temporary housing. They were pretty permanent when I was there. I don't know if the trailers still existed when you were there. But we were all hanging out in the trailers during graduation. <laughs> uh, one of my fellow classmates actually uh, has an amazing photo of himself standing in front of Roth Hall with his toque. He, he very carefully uh, just lit, just uh, coated the very top edge of it with some lighter fluid and lit his toque. And so he's got a picture of himself with this toque lit on fire 
like from Rosenthal looking back at Roth. <laughs> from Viking Land. I'd love to tr travel to Sweden sometime. Not not right now, but yeah, that's that's Sweden, Denmark, uh, Belgium, um, the UK, especially, uh, and then, well, I don't know if it's going to be considered UK or not at that point, but uh, other parts of the UK. Ireland. But yeah, I would love to go out there. Especially since so many people know so many other language out that way. Languages out that way. It's not all just... You have to learn Swedish to be there. liking the way that lasagna looks. I got I got like a quarter view of it. Yeah, I'd love to travel to northern European uh, or uh, the one place that I was actually sort of planning on going to check out before the so you know pandemic thing happened uh, I'm, I'm interested in going and check out Singapore too which is another place you can go with English language and Singapore if you look has is actually known for our uh, street food and all that. It's such a multicultural... Uh, it, if you look at it, it's a uh, shipping hub, essentially. It's this is Singapore. It's a place for everyone to do trade, and so it's where this giant melting pot of the world going on, even more so than, like, the U.S. So you got, like, everything going on, so... Everything I hear, it has an extremely vibrant, like, street food cuisine and all sorts of cool stuff that you can check out all at once. Yeah, HUD, I, my understanding is a lot of them learn it just basically in beginning school. I mean, that's true for... <laughs> it's true for China, too, depending on where you go. Uh, would there's there's more English people in English speaking people in China than there is anywhere else in the world let's pull our cheesecake out Thought I lost it there a second. Let's see if we need to do a second bake without the rice. I'm torn on that one. Throw this rice with the rest. I mean, it's pulled away. It's feeling like it's baked enough for me. I think I'm gonna live with that. We'll, we'll see how that cools down. 
I'm sort of torn on if the bottom is really cooked enough, but the sides I think are fine. and oozy when I, I glanced in there but all right do we do the moment of truth here with the bread I am worried that this is not cooked through properly because it is such a large loaf but let's give it a shot That's looking like bread to me. Little bits of cheese and pepperoni in there. Have a great night, Bun Buns. Thanks for stopping by. We going late tonight? Yeah, we're going. about average right now. Love that smell. Let's get that roasted tomato smell going on too from all the tomato sauce from it. So it's it's not just the yeasty bread. It's got the it's got a little of the other scents there. It's a little pizza rolly. It's like bread with a hint of pizza roll. Regardless of it being like 50% by weight pizza roll. <laughs> Oops, I got sucked into the computer. I get sucked into the computer. So this is gonna cool this down quick, but the worry is it's gonna be too hot for our mixture. Actually, I'm gonna pop this into the freezer for a minute just to cool it down for a minute. If 
I wasn't worried about getting thrown away a pastry bag or uh, getting a nice one dirty, I might pipe the cream cheese filling into the center, but I'm gonna not do that because I don't feel like getting one dirty. We can switch over to spatula here though. Gonna give it about three minutes in the freezer. Just just enough just to take the, the high heat off of it. So we're not breaking down our sour cream or cream cheese. I'm not turning that into oil or something. From too much heat initial. It's not feeling room tempish actually. Like Yeah, it's pretty good. It's almost like I've made a no-baked cheesecake in one of these small little containers before. We'll give that a chill, it'll set up a little bit in the refrigerator. But I am hopeful that before I do that, I can show you folks what our pizza crust with our cream cheese mixture looks like on the inside. Let's give this a main view. Everyone see our pizza roll crust in all of its glory. Cheese Put that back on for throwing it in the fridge. Throw some plastic wrap on the top of that and that just let that chill out for an hour or two and I'll pick that up probably for late night munchies tonight. Crust in the rim I think is higher than the cheese there. Yeah. So it's not really sitting on the cheese. Anyone that hasn't been in here before, I prepare my plastic wrap for war, and so it is heavily wrapped in duct tape. I have had boxes that have less, lasted me years that way, without reinforcing them 
yeah, they died rather quickly. This handful of extra pizza rolls on the stove here. We've got leftovers. I'm glad I didn't buy the huge bag of these. I was, I had it in my cart when I was at the store. I was like, I'm going to go through a ton of these things on this dinner. I might as well just grab the big bag. And I thought about it a couple minutes. I'm like, I might go through the big bag, but I'm not going to be able to have, you know, the three different flavors that way. So I ended up going with the three different flavors instead. I got lucky that that was half off of the table there. And we all know that that would have landed plastic wrap side down. Right? Because <laughs> that's always the case. It's always, it's, it's like the buttered side of the bread. The, the plastic wrap side always lands down. Last two minutes get units on the battlefield for our last Dream Raiders battle of the evening. Our, our uh, lasagna is going to wrap up here during our battle. So it will be our last battle tonight. I don't remember if I got a photo of this with it uncut or not. Trying to figure out that scrambled semifredo. Nice. I was trying to find to figure out some sort of like refrigerator or something going on there, but
Uh oh. I am not happy with that. One second, our timer's just about to go off for our lasagna. That's looking nice. We'll give that a minute while we do our battle here. Let's see how that works. Struggle through it, they're gonna get him. No, not the musketeer. Boo. Victory. Victory. Delicately X getting those kills. A lot helping out with the assists. Nice HUD. HUD getting the scrolls, Deltly getting gold. Nice pickups there. Berserker and gold are lovely things to have in this game. Some goodies for myself. Still don't know what snowflakes are for. But we'll call that a night there. We'll continue on with that back here on Friday. Gonna be doing Schnitzel and Spetzel. Should be a fun night. Uh, I'm going to be doing mon Sunday, Monday, going to be doing cookies. Before we get into the goodbyes, though, let's show you this deliciousness on the stove. Then I'm going to move over to the board. Let's get this beautiful bread out of the way. Are you a healer anywhere else, HUD? Do you play any other games? You play a, he play a healer in all your games or just... Stream Raiders? That looks yummy. Wow, it's raining out there. I sort of decided I'm taking a healing role as it comes to uh, New World. And I've sort of, I've always sort of carried a life staff with my character, but uh, as of late, I've, now that I'm 60, now that I've got at least half of my stuff maxed out now, I'm more looking at stuff for, I mean, my armor is now all healing. Focused, focused, focused. Um, and my, uh, I've respect to that. That said, I don't do a lot of grouping. <laughs> now, do I try and go for the straight across, or do I just scoop it and go? 
What do you guys, what do you folks think? I, I think I'm just gonna scoop and go. That way I'll break through those. Yeah. I've enjoyed it. I mean, I know it's head bugginess and it's it's giving me a little problem here and there. But uh, I've enjoyed the nearly 400 hours I put in it. Nice thumb marks all the way around going there. <laughs> nice, uh, yeah, there's some things like, I watch a ton of uh, GTA RP. I'm, I'm hooked on no pixel. Uh, I have separate account so that I can follow just like the hundreds of accounts that are just on no pixel and I have thought about you know trying to get in I know I wouldn't have a chance to just automatically be in like some of the top streamers but uh, I've sort of realized that I enjoy watching it a lot more than I, I think I would playing it or being involved in the virtual world um, So yeah, I can I can definitely understand that, HUD. I appreciate that. Enjoy you hanging out here. Uh, let's see where we can head to from here. Thank you everyone for joining me tonight. We had anyone guide the raid tonight? I don't think I've seen that. Let's see who's on. Since we got some new people out there with some emotes, we'll throw out a uh, emote call. We got some people away. Oh, here's a good candidate. We got someone in the food and drink category celebrating their three year stream anniversary. Lovely streamer. I hope you all all enjoy hanging out with 
the Practical Escapist. I thank you for joining me tonight. Thank you so much for the raids. Thank you so much for all the subs tonight. That that was nuts earlier. I, I greatly appreciate that. Uh, yeah. Back on Friday, going to be doing Special and Schnitzel. Uh, Sunday and maybe Monday. But definitely Sunday is going to be Holiday Cookies. So I, I hope you come back and join me. Until then, we got that for a raid call and uh, I hope you all have a lovely evening. Thank you. Bye-bye now.